we knew we were in trouble. So I took command and I told him to hang on to anything they could hang on to, including the, the lifelines. And then when it was, the, the tilt became too great to, to even hold on, I said, I gave the order to abandon ship and uh, nobody abandoned. I said, then I yelled, follow me. And the bodies came in so fast, it was unbelievable. And we swam away from the ship. But everybody was scared to death. These were all 18 and 19 year old kids. Well, that was a big problem that we had, was to try to keep the men thinking that they would be saved. But there was no way in God's green earth that I knew that we were going to be saved. Well, they, they grabbed some of our people who had broken free from a, from the net. And I also noticed that everybody tied to the net. The sharks didn't attack. So every time the sharks were coming in, we would kick and scream and do things that we thought would drive the sharks away, and they did drive them away. The sharks only picked off, as far as I could see, the sharks only picked off people who had by themselves. In other words, no protection around them. And whenever they saw a shark, they to yell shock and start screaming. And I don't know whether that was effective or not. It's, the sharks didn't like us, so they, they would leave us. But the, uh, the sharks were in a, and they, they attacked in groups. And when they died, I just cut them loose from the group and let them float out to sea. I didn't want the bodies around. My fear was really for the men, not for myself. I never felt for myself. Never feared for myself in the whole time. My biggest concern always was that the people that we could save, that we saved them. An airplane flew over us, and uh, they took another pass and notified the Navy, and the Navy came into the ships 18 hours later. What decision could I ever make that was as anywhere in, as near or important as the decision to tell those men to throw their lives into the water? If I were to look back in life, maybe that was one of the biggest decisions I ever made. Because I was, I was gambling everybody's life that we were going to win.